QA Ninja. Hey guys, it's your boy the QA Ninja here, back with another episode. Today, we're talking Killer Instinct Arcade. I'm going to give you a full rundown as what I think is the best way to get Killer Instinct Arcade running on your PC. I'm also going to give you a full rundown on how I got it set up on my Arcade 1UP. And also I'm going to address some questions I was asked on my previous Killer Instinct Arcade video. Stick around, got a good one for you. Alright, so if you're not going to go for the Dell Optiplex, you can also opt for the Atomic Pi here. It's a lot smaller in stature. I'm going to go over a little bit of what I do for this to um, help power up for Killer Instinct Arcade. Here is the HDMI port. And of course you have the power jack and the small breakout board there. All links will be below for this. Alright, on this side you have the Ethernet and then you have the USB plug. That's pretty much the Atomic Pi right there. So in size comparison to the Odroid XU4 and the Raspberry Pi 3B Plus, you got the Atomic Pi. Um, they're all great for emulation. Of course, you got the Odroid XU4 and Raspberry Pi is good for you know, your basic MAME and everything. And of course, the Odroid is great for Sick of Saturn and Dreamcast, but Atomic Pi will be your best bet when you're looking to do Killer Instinct Arcade. Can handle it very easily. And then of course, I'm going to show you here what you'd be needing this USB um, mini USB hub here. Use it for, you would plug it there you, for your USB encoders for your arcade one up, also your keyboard and your mouse and such. And for speakers, I get questions a lot about this. What would I do for audio? So I have these, you know, your basic Dell speakers. And then I have this little plug here where you can put your auxiliary cord right into the green circle there. And it plugs directly in. And there you go, you have um, USB out, and it's very easy to um, set up with no um, issues at all. Okay, so um, right here is what I'm going to show you where to um, download Lubuntu. This is the operating system that I use to uh, run Killer Instinct off of um, RetroPie. For me, it's just easier. If you're used to working with, um, you know, Raspberry Pi, this is going to be a very similar setup, so it's going to be a little easier for you. So you would go ahead and download the AMD version of it. Then you can use Bolena Etcher and then you would select the image you know, that you downloaded from that website. And then you can go ahead and select the image itself. Right here, it's a very small image. And then you would go ahead and select wherever you, whatever you're gonna burn it onto. In this case, I'm actually gonna have to burn it onto a USB because this is gonna be what you put into the Atomic Pi. So once you put it into your Atomic Pi, I'm gonna, um, after you flash this, of course, um, it's gonna take only a few minutes. You put it into your Atomic Pi, and then you hold Delete when you boot it up, and you're gonna be here in the BIOS, plug in your keyboard, and then you're going to um, wanna toggle with the arrow to boot, and then you're gonna go down to Boot Option, and then you're gonna hit Enter, Go down to where you have your image burned, in this case just a, the flash disk here. Hit enter, you want the boot option to be number one for that. And then you would just toggle to save, configure, save and exit. And then you would go save changes, save, configure and reset. Now once you boot back into your Atomic Pi, you'll be asked to install go ahead through the installation process of um installing lubuntu onto your atomic pi which would be the os you'd be working with the whole process really takes no more than about 10 minutes max and then i'm going to actually walk you through how to uh, now install retro pi directly onto your atomic pi so for your atomic pi um you just want to go to this website here you would hold control alt and t um keys there on the keyboard and then you copy and paste each of these commands from this page and hit enter each since every single time there's going to be scripts that run each every time you need to make sure you're connected to the um, Wi-Fi while you're doing this but it's a several simple steps from the official RetroPeg website until you get to basic install once you get the basic install here you would have to highlight hit enter and it'll just take a few minutes to finish up I'm just going to show you where to go about finding the ROMs. 
you, know, you would go to Retro Pie, and then I put them in the arcade folder. And as you see here, this is where I keep the CHD files for Killer Instinct. And I'm using a MAME ROM set, which I'll have late linked also below. And then there's where the KINST and KINST 2 folder, so for Killer Instinct 1 and 2 on there. And that's where I keep them. Okay, so the next thing I'm going to show you how to do is how to directly boot your arcade directly into Killer Instinct um, emulation station. This is for good for when you're doing it from your arcade or your PC. So first you want to enable or disable auto um, login for um, your password. So enter your password in first here and then don't click on don't ask for password on login and then hit OK. I've already done that so I'm just going to hit OK here and then that's that portion. The next thing we're going to have to do since we already have RetroPie installed on here we're going to hold Control alt t bring up the terminal again and we're going to type in emulation station and when you're done with that you hit enter okay so we're in emulation station here this is my RetroPie um, set up here All right, this is where you would go to configure your controller. More on that a little bit later on. So you want to toggle to RetroPie. Once you get here, toggle, toggle down to RetroPie Setup. And then from here, it's going to take you back to the install menu. And now I'm going to show you how to go ahead and enable auto boot so it boots directly into emulation emulation station as soon as you turn on your Pi. so you go down to auto start hit enter here it'll say disable it'll change to enable you hit ok and it'll be um, all set so when you reboot your atomic Pi, it'll be all set up so it boots directly into emulation station without a keyboard next thing we're going to do is download the main 2010 core for killer instinct you're going to need this one so you want to go down to manage packages and then you manage optional packages and then you want to go scroll all the way down until you find it main 2010 now it's a big core so it takes at least I would say almost 10 minutes to download but once it's it you're good to go okay so the next thing I'm gonna go over is the actual button layout that I find works for Killer Instinct and a lot of other fighter games so the first thing you want to do is hold any button to bring up the control configure menu and then for this you just want to go ahead and follow along so the way I find that works best is you know you go up down left right start and then if you have a coin door like me, you can have a setup where you just put a quarter in for the select button. Or I have the option of putting, you know, if you have extra button, that could also be your select button. And then the rest of it goes like this. A, B, X, Y, left shoulder, right shoulder. And then hold the button for every single button that you don't need. Just keep holding any button at this point to bypass. And then I'm going to take you over to some gameplay now. So you can see it running full speed. Guys, I hope this was helpful. If it was, karate chop that like button and subscribe. Any questions, leave a comment below and 
Thanks for watching. See you next time.